And hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So we drew Light Fairy last week, so we are going to go ahead and draw Toothless today. I drew a tutorial on Toothless a thousand years ago. It was like one of my first tutorials, so I thought it would be better to go ahead and do a more updated version of Toothless, especially his new getup with his harness and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So same with the Light Fairy, we're gonna start with his head. And I would suggest turning your paper this way for Toothless's body. All right, but his head is still going to be that oval because he kind of looks like a lizard frog dragon. No, he doesn't, he's adorable. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with that first and let's lay out his entire body so we're going to bring down his neck from here and underneath actually I'm going to bring this over just a little bit more underneath here and I'm going to circle and go back up into his head and then I'm going to actually jump back here round this down and then I'm going to go in and circle back in. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out his arms. I'm gonna lay out his actual legs. So I'm gonna circle right here. Circle this in, bring down here, go back up. into his body and then we're gonna jump on this side right here we're gonna go back just a little bit right here round off this leg bring down this leg here we're gonna make this all on the same level actually I should have done that <laughs> I want to go ahead and make sure this is all on the same ground level bring this down go up round it up. After that, we're gonna jump back here. We're going to make another leg all the way in the back here. Circle this, and then we're gonna go down. Make this a bit fatter down and hit that ground mark. Now the thing about Toothless's legs, remember it has heat. He's this unique looking dragon. So his legs are skinny at the top, somewhat skinny. They're more muscular, and then they're a bit thicker at the bottom. All right? Then what we're going to do So back here, we have his other leg, but we don't exactly get to see it that much. So it's actually we're just going to bring this back here have it hanging out in the background because it's being sh overshadowed by this one. Now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go right down and then we're gonna start circling back up and then I'm gonna jump back here up on the top. This is nice and thick up here and then we're gonna go right down Line it alongside the same length. And there's his tail. All right. So for his wings, let's map where the wings are gonna go. So I'm gonna circle off one section of wings right here. So this is one wing. And it's gonna go out, start to go out, but we keep that thickness. And it's gonna start to go out this way. And then I'm gonna go up. And then we're just gonna actually just like kind of bring this in for right now and connect to here. We're just gonna leave this alone and detail this up later. And then, so we have one wing here. And then we're gonna jump over here off to this side. And it's actually going, the other one we're gonna see overshadowing over here. All right, let's jump to his face and fill in some details. We're gonna go ahead, even though he's a dragon, I'm still going to give him that eye guideline. And I'm turning him just a little bit and I'm gonna bring down 
where his nose is going to line up. So Toothless's eyes are a bit complicated. We're going to go ahead and do that first. So Toothless has these big cat-like eyes, so I'm going to just roughly place where this one's going to go. So I make this long bridge for right now, and I come to a corner, right there, make it nice, and then round it up. Then I'm going to jump over here, a little bit of distance, and then round this down. So we round it down, circle it up, back in, okie doke. After that, the thing about Toothless's eyes is they're a bit square, so let's jump inside right here. We're going to leave a little bit of space and square this off. And then we're going to jump into the corner right here and square off his pupil again. We're going to leave a little shine here, a little shine here, and then you fill these in. And then the rest of his eyes are green, as you all know. So making these lines a little bit more definite. So the thing is, you just they do look like cat eyes, but... He is turned to one side a little bit, so we're having a three-quarter turn on his body. All right, and then I'm gonna go about right here, make one little nostril here, and then one nostril right here. And then I'm going to go along the side of his face. Alright, for his mouth, we're just going to go right down here, bring this down, and go back up. Make a little bit of a smile and a dimple. Gonna go ahead and go back around and we're gonna give him his jaw to add on to his face. So it's gonna go flat here, go up, we're gonna round off this side. All right, so there's the entirety of his head right now. So yeah, he looks like a frog. <laughs> okay, so going up from the middle of his face right here, we're gonna, we're gonna start to put on those little itty bitty spikes. Now, these ear flap things, Toothless has more than the light theory. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start with this one over here. Let's just call it one ear number one. We're gonna go back and round it down. So it goes in, we give a little significant dip inside, and then we're gonna jump over here, round this up, and go down. Bring this in, jump inside. Then we're gonna jump in right here. rounded ear there, and then another rounded ear here, and then we actually have one off to the side of his head right here. It's going to go out, then back in, and then we have another one over here underneath his jaw, like right where his jaw meets. It's going to go out, and then back in. Then we have a little bit of a shadow of one down here. He's got a lot of these. All right, so another thing is Toothless has a really distinct eyebrow line. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna start over here from the side of his eyes, bring this up, 
And we have one eyebrow line right there. We have an eyelid going around. And we have another distinct eyebrow bone right here. Another eyelid. Actually, let's move his nose. I'm gonna move his nose a little bit more down, so I'm gonna bring down this nose nostril here. Same spot, just bringing it down a little bit. And one nostril here. There we go, that's much better. All right, so since Toothless needs to wear his harness now, his little rider's harness for hiccup, we're gonna go underneath right here. Underneath his neck, go up. And then around off his neck. And I'm gonna jump over here and we're going to make that strap that goes around his neck. Then from back here, we're gonna jump, bring this down over off to the side because this is hiccup seat. So back off to the side, we're gonna jump and make one little divot here and then go back. So that's hiccup seat. And we can see just a little bit, a couple of spikes. So we see one spike here and then another spike right here. And then we're gonna bring down his neck, bring this down, and then right here, we're gonna make a little bit of a buckle. And we're gonna make one line going off this way, one line going off this way, and then we've got this big harness thing. I won't draw it in complete detail, we just need to make a ring around it. So we're gonna make a ring around this, Go back and then round it back this way. Then let's jump back up to his chest. We're going to bring down this side. And we're actually, I'm going to curve this in, make it nice and strong, and then go up. For this leg right here, we're gonna bring it down. Before we start connecting more harness pieces together, we don't need to get too complicated with the harnesses. We just need to just go ahead and show and we can even make the rider's buckle, I mean the rider's pedal here. All right, so we're gonna jump down here. This one's a little bit skinnier and then it's gonna go out. And he's got super thick bottoms to his feet. So once again, like the light fairy, got one, two, three, four, like little claws. So the claws go, it's like little lumps and then the claws go outwards. So you just make little claws here. And then this one's gonna go out. I'm gonna jump over to this little claw here. We're gonna go out here. And this one's gonna like go towards the other claws. And then we got another claw, and then another claw. So we got this one going outwards. And then this one going in. So this is actually turned towards us. This, this foot's not facing us. This one is, this one's not. So I'm gonna bring down this one. And we got nice little spikies going down the side of his leg. Round this back up, make this nice and strong. And then go back up. There we go. Bring down this, this leg in the back. All right, so let's straighten up his harness a little bit more. So off to the side right here, we do see a line for his harness, and then we see another line alongside here. And then we actually see this part of the harness going up alongside of his belly. So we'll just color those in for right now to make them stand out. So we see all these little pieces of the harness, of his riding harness. So I'm gonna make a pedal. So this is a thick 
metal ring with a bunch of gadgets and strings around it. So we're going to make the petal at least. We're going to just make this little piece here and we're going to go up and we're going to make the petal for Hiccup right here. Now he needs this petal because this is what shifts his wing for his tail as we all know. Okay, so then after this, we're gonna, this is nice and skinny right here. We're going to line this up and then we're going to come to his back leg, round it, go down, and I'm going to jump back over here, round this, go back, go in, and attach. Really thick leg. Okay, and then we're going to make our little claws. Bring out this one. Bring out this claw. And then bring out this little claw. And this is nice and thick back here. So we can actually just go ahead and color these guys in. Alrighty. Then for back here, for his tail, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just drawing through his leg nice and thick. And then we're going to draw this big thickness right here, go up. So we want to keep this nice and thick, get rid of this, alright, and then let's jump up to this wing and start detailing up this wing. Okay, from starting from the part, the saddle right here, you're going to go ahead and bring this in, go in, and then I'm going to jump right here behind this, this little buckle right here. So this is his, this is his neck. Okay, so this is his neck right here. Actually, we need to bring this up a lot more. So bringing up the buckle just a little bit, this little, this little harness bit right here, and then the harness goes down. So the neck goes through the harness, and then underneath, we're going to make that first muscle to the wing. This entirety right here is all the big muscle going out to his wing, and his wing is covering up the rest of his body. So, when I'm so we're going to bring down this muscle here, it's going to go up. And we're going to start to build upwards into the wing. And it's going to go towards his face. Go up. Round this down. So we go round it down and you want to curve inwards. Come to a very sharp point. Then we're gonna actually go in, go back out. So we're making a really strong dip and then go back in. And then we're gonna actually gonna go back into the wing. So there, there's that. So he's not a full stretched out wing. So I'm going to actually jump down here. We have these two pieces of wings right here. So we're going to go out and then back in. So this is lining, this is like the thin part of his wing coming down from his muscle. All right. So I'm going to curve this part here. And we're actually going to bring down this one all the way down. Bring down this one. And then we're going to bring down, we're going to jump back in. Bring down this one. They should line up with the pointy parts. Okay. give a little bit more dimension to one of the wings. I'm going to bring this one down 
and make another thin part like they're it's folded up into each other and we do have a little bit of space at the top up here so what I mean space is just like it flows into each other there's a little bit of the wing that's just overlapping and then it just goes smoothly down the side all right and then his tails kind of hanging out back here behind his wing so let's actually, I'm gonna curve it so we can see it a little bit more, kind of like how we did on the Light Fury tutorial. Bring this back in. Now the difference between the Light Fury and, and Toothless is that he has more of a jagged tail, like it's more jagged wise. So I'm gonna go out from the tip of his tail. And we're gonna have one, two, three, four, bring out this side. jagged like this and then we're gonna go one two three and instead of it being nice and smooth so his tail is nice and pointed and then he has a really sharp point because this side so this side to his tail is hiccups addition to help him fly so we've got Toothless's tail here, and then we have this contraption here. It's actually got a harness on this part here. And then he's got like little lines going up into his harness that is attached to his tail to help him operate his tail a little bit more. So for his wing over here, we don't really see much because this one, they're kind of tucked in. So it's just gonna go out, square off this side, There it is, it's just chilling in the back there. And there we go, there is how to make Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, the series by DreamWorks. I hope everyone enjoyed this new tutorial on how to draw Toothless. Now we got like a bigger version of him to draw because I think I already did from the chest up. But yes, I hope you guys will go see How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World by DreamWorks. It's out February 21st. I hope you guys will go see it. Have a most wonderful day. And next week, we've ne I've never drawn Astrid before, so let's go ahead and draw Astrid next week. If you guys haven't seen it already, I did a tutorial on the Light Fury, so go and check that out after you draw Toothless or draw them together or draw them on separate pieces of paper. But I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Bye!